Hey, welcome, my name is Oli, and today we'll check this, the Lemzu Atlantis Wireless Gaming Mouse. Lemzu is a new company, and this is the first mouse. This mouse received a lot of positive review, so let's check if the hype is confirmed. I will do as usual an unboxing, look at the specs, compare the shape with other mice, and give my feedback in gaming and grip style. And at the end, I will give you my pros and cons. So, let's get started with the unboxing. This box is definitely not an usual gaming mouse box. The way you open it, it's like you are opening an expensive luxury watch. This is an amazing experience. You already know that a great product is waiting inside. So, on the right side of the box, we have the mouse, nicely placed with a USB dongle, with the name Atlantis in gold on it. On the left side, you have a little black pocket with a flexible USB cable, USB adapter in silver, manual and additional PTFE skates. I know that the first thousand miles receive additional glass skates. So, this whole unboxing experience was really exciting. Let's see if the specs and performance are as good as the unboxing. The Lemzo Atlantis come with a famous Pixar 3395 sensor, so it has 26,000 dpi, 1000 Hz polling weight and the weight is approximately 55 grams, 56 grams on my copy. The mouse is well balanced. Lemzu also proposes a software to change the standard settings. You can also change the DPI on your mouse. On the bottom right side you can find the bottom for it and on the left side the light signal. You can also find here a storage to place your USB dongle, a really nice attention to details, I like that. The switches are here, the Yuanyo Blue. Let's do a quick sound and quality check. The switch sounds great, the scroll wheel and side buttons feels awesome, almost no pre and post travel, the quality build feels solid. But I found something, the scroll wheel on my copy is not centered, it's not a big deal, in gaming it's almost not noticeable, it's only the optic when you look at it, it's not so great. But for now it's the only complaint. Let's move to the size and shape and check the performance in gaming. The Lemzu Atlantis is more in the mid size range, the shape is quite unique, or we can say it's kind of a combination of different mice. The side curvature where you hold the mouse reminds me of the Aerox 3, which also have this aggressive curvature. The click's length and how it falls from the middle of the mouse up to the front is very similar to the Pulsar X2 medium. However, the clicks on the X2 have a curvy shape, while the clicks on the Atlantis are flat. The back of the mouse is a bit flatter but wider compared to the Pulsar X2. This wider hump gives a better support for claw grip and palm grip. For fingertip grips it's also good but for me the X2 is better. If you only play intensive fingertip grip, the side curvature makes it harder to control your aim. This shape is definitely perfect for those who are using different types of claw grip. This mouse offers a great palm support. For my end size it's perfect, the shape is really well designed. To sum up, the Lemzu Atlantis is an amazing mouse. It's for me the biggest surprise this year. That a new company launched such a great product at the first time, it deserves some shoutouts. And moreover, with a great price from $100 or 110 euros, you can have one of the best, if not the best, gaming mouse on the market right now, at least price and quality wise. I hope that Lemzu will continue to bring new and great product on the market. They have now put the expectation very high. I know that they are working hard on a mini Atlantis version that will come end of November this year maybe. Other colors of the Atlantis should also be available soon and they are working on glass skates with better durability. These products are confirmed, but I hope they will also bring soon a new mouse, maybe an Ergo mouse to complete the lineup of an amazing product. Good job Lemzu, please keep going like this. So, that is for today, I hope you enjoyed this review, if so, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe in order to not miss the next one, and if you want, follow me on Twitter, thank you for watching, and see you next time, bye bye!